Hey everybody, and we are back. It's Nancy Hassel from NYC Retails and Sales Pet Expo, and we have Tavor White with us from Choose Happiness. Hey, Tavor. How are you, Nancy? I'm good. How are you? We're so excited to have you back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and you're actually a returning NYC Retails. You're an alumni vendor, so you've been right. at our show in the past, and like we were saying, we hope to have our show next year, but we're so excited to have you here for the virtual event. And if anybody has any comments or questions, you could put it in the comment section and we'll, we, we will ha be happy to answer questions as we go. So Taver, let's jump in and ask, what got you into the pet industry? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, spent uh, a few decades in corporate America as a management consultant, uh, basically selling my soul and um, quit the rat race, moved out to Colorado from New York um, and uh, got a dog. And uh, couldn't really find anything in the market that I was comfortable with that was healthy and safe, especially for dog chews, but also on the treat side. Um, and I wanted to start a social enterprise and do a little good for the world. So Choose Happiness was born. And uh, Choose Happiness is a social enterprise as well as a business. So we we're obviously a business, but we support indigenous farmers and herders. Uh, we... Um, we operate a zero carbon um, operation business, operation enterprise, um, and um, all of our packaging um, uh, is eco friendly, uh, and that's very important to us as well. Which, of course, you know, I love, and I just always have loved the play on words because if you guys don't realize, it's not choose. It's C H E W S, choose happiness. So it's really so much fun. Oops, the other way, yeah. Awesome. And and I know you do a lot of good giving back and working with, the, like you just said, all the people that you work with and having eco-friendly packaging. It's really amazing. So tell us a little bit about the business. I know you have the Barkaroons, which is a new product, but tell sure. us your journey in the business. Sure. So um, I actually started um, the business um, to create an all natural, healthy, safe, long lasting dog chew. And um, uh, that was a uh, uh, much more of a challenge than I ever could have imagined. The good news is um, we even, we Ooh. know how to make them. we make them now. Looks uh, nice. Yeah, that's be it's beautiful. This will last yeah. the 80, 90 pound dog about 45 minutes. Um, wow. so it's, it's fully digestible. Um, there's a smaller one for a tiny dog. And it's but, made uh, of? Um, um, it's, it, it's, it actually has... Um, Lots of yak cheese in it, but it's not exclusively yak cheese. But that is a main ingredient we uh, from Bhutan. Um, but they're very different from the cheese chews in the market, which are uh, we could go have a whole separate seminar on that, uh, which are actually not quite safe. But anyway, the chews are not are not quite ready yet. Uh, we're making them, but they won't be ready till next year with the packaging. Uh, right now, we have these um, amazing baccaron, which is uh, a play on it's a doggy version of the French macaron. So it's a baccaron. Um, and um, it, it, this is uh, our decadent doggy desserts. Now, this one in particular, if you look at the package, is superfood blend with camel cheese. Yes, camel cheese. <laughs> I have camped out with the camel herders in the Gobi Desert. It's part of our social enterprise. And camel cheese is to chocolate, uh, uh, camel cheese is to dogs as chocolate is to people. Um, it, this is, you could think about this as a box of chocolates for dogs. Um, and um, that's sort of what it looks like when you open it up. Very nice. Yeah, the the um, packaging is really beautiful. I know you had given me a, just a, a sample and yeah. showed me everything at the last in-person trade show we were at, and I was really impressed with your packaging. So we just earned a USDA bio-based packaging certificate for this package. Um, it's 99%, wow. a minimum of 99% bio-based, which, of course, it's made out of paper. So and recycled at that. And this is handmade, handcrafted. Love it. So that's why um, we do that. No plastic. Um, so that's the camel cheese one. This is our, um, you could think about it as a variety pack because these are premium. And uh, you could think about this as, I don't know if you're familiar with Lama Sun chocolates or really high end chocolates, Godiva. Um, so I, we don't call it a variety pack, but that's what it is. <laughs> this is our well being gift box. These are gift boxes. And this has one of each flavor in it. You can, oop, and what are the flavors? So, um, so we have the camel the superfood blend with camel cheese. It has lots of organic berries and pomegranate, um, and the camel cheese, of course. 
Um, and then we have um, uh, uh, chicken here. Uh, this is organic chicken. Um, and then we have a box. I, I, we do have a few left, but we've sold most of them. The Himalayan river trout, which oh, is wow. sustainably sourced from the glacial rivers, excuse me, of the Himalayas. Um, but the, we do have the Himalayan river trout inside the, um, the well-being gift box. But, but we, and we have a few boxes left of Himalayan river trout, but, but um, uh, we've sold most of them out there already. That's awesome. I love it. And I love the look of the packaging, but also that it's all natural, healthy, healthy ingredients for your dog. Yeah. So each um, one, thank you. Thank you for that. Cause I didn't point that out. Each one has a functional health benefit because of the amazing ingredients. So for instance, turmeric and uh, collagen amino acids on the form of gelatin and, um, and um, uh, ginger for digestion. And so these are sort of holistic um, supplemental um, uh, functional foods. Would you say those are your top selling products right now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, that's we're selling most uh, most of those now. As the as the um, cold season comes, and here in Colorado, as I was talking to Nancy a minute ago, it is winter. Um, we're selling our sweaters. These are handcrafted, oh, yeah. and we've had these for a few years. They're amazing pieces. Um, you can't feel it obviously on the film on the on the video here, but um, this is made out of yak down, which is the inner wool of the yak. This is all hand knitted and this is hand woven and has a nice pocket. These are really amazing pieces for dogs up to 25 pounds. And, and guys, if yeah. you, you don't even understand, he's being very modest. Those are so soft and cuddly they that are, you yeah. will go crazy for it. Your dogs will go crazy for it. You definitely want to snuggle with your dog if they have that on. Cause I know that was one of the premier products that you had um, introduced when you first launched. It was one of those products and it was always like, Oh my God, this is so, so soft. Yeah, we still have those and we still have those. And during the, the colder season, we sell those too. So when did you launch the Barcaroons? Well, the Barcaroons were, 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 were launched um, just a little less than about a year ago, Thanksgiving of 2019. Okay. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, and um, uh, they're very nice holiday gifts because uh, you could see they just come in nice gift boxes, like dog gift boxes. Um, so there are a lot of people bought them for holiday gifts for their dogs. A lot of grandmothers bought them for their grand dogs as holiday gifts um, and or for friends dogs. Uh, and, um, you know, we all know dogs are part of the family. I don't have to uh, make that case. Um, and, you know, uh, depending on the dog and the breed, they could have the intelligence of a two or three year old um, um, bouncer, who's our CTO, our chew tasting officer, <laughs> um, is uh, half Doberman, half Poodle. So he's super bright. Um, and you give gifts to a two year old. Um, and so I am I am for I firmly believe that dogs understand when you give them something a little different, something special. He understands what this box means. Um, and um, so are you. Uh, marketing those to retailers right now for the sure, holiday yeah. season. Yep. And, yeah, no, and I mean, for the holidays, I mean, I'm happy to sell it to retailers, but you know, for the holidays, is it a little late? I mean, if you want to order it and we'll send yeah. it right to you, but, um, but we are selling it to retailers. Yes. So uh, do you have any um, show specials that you would want to share anything wholesale for uh, any retailers or stores that are well, looking they, to buy? They, um, <clears throat> MSR, <clears throat> excuse me, MSRP and these, is twenty four dollars. We sell them online for twenty four dollars. Um, the uh, retail price is half that if you buy five. Um, our master packs have ten of these unit boxes in them. Okay. Um, um, and if you buy five, you get free shipping, five or more. Um, and so um, that that's our deal for for the wholesalers for the retailers. Okay. So we're going to put all of the contact information for our retailers to contact you. Um, is there anything that you would like to share about, you know, why you're you're so focused on having a social enterprise business? Why that's so important to you? Well, yeah, I mean, the the if you think about just the uh, one component of it, the echo component, and the amount of plastic that the that, uh, we we <coughs> that the um, pet industry and pet treat in particular market generates, yeah, um, it's kind of crazy, and. Um, uh, I am a member of the Pet Sustainability Coalition. We actually choose happiness, earned a slot in the top 20 um, uh, eco and socially conscious pet companies in the, in the country, uh, which for a tiny little company as ours, I mean, that's an amazing feat. 
Yeah, um, congratulations, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, and so, you know, um, our whole mantra is uh, for you, your pet and the planet. So sure, you know, these are not the kind of treats. And by the way, this is the chicken. It's a beautiful flavor. That's turmeric. We don't use any, na um, only natural flavorings and colorings. Um, so so uh, for you, your pet and the planet. Um, so so basically, if we could do our little, uh, little tiny good in the planet, then that's great. Um, you know, our the concept of our products is you don't buy it by the 10 pound bag. You don't overfeed your dog with it uh, by giving them, you know, five of them a day or 20 of them a day. <laughs> These are very special treats, birthdays, holidays, and, and every day is fine too. But, you know, one or two a day, not, not half a bag a day. Yeah. And if you start thinking that way, then a, a box like this, which has 16, if you give them two a day, that's eight days or even one day, that, that could be two weeks. So it's, I have a nine, Bouncer's a 90 pound beast and I give him maybe twice a week, I give him two. So if you think about it that way, as you would consume a very nice box of chocolates, maybe if you're in a really bad mood or if the election would have gone <laughs> the wrong way, you would have eaten a whole box of Godiva, but in t usually you don't. It's really one or two or three pieces you enjoy with loved ones. And that's what this is. It's very special. So it's more, would you say that you focus on um, selling in retail or boutique, like higher end uh, pet boutiques or retails? Yeah, I mean, we, we had um, uh, one reseller who, who tried it in one of the main stores and it, 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 I wasn't expecting it to do well. They didn't tell me they were gonna do that to be perfectly honest. Um, and, and it didn't do well in the main store. It's just not yeah. that great product. Yeah. Um, it's the kind of product where people who are looking for something a little different, looking for gifts, um, uh, and looking, you know, don't mind paying a little more for high, very high quality ingredients and, you know, eco friendliness, which is not cheap. I mean, I could have got, I could have put these in plastic bags and spent probably three cents a bag. Yeah. Instead, I made these eco friendly boxes, which cost, you know, probably 25, 30 times that. And so, I, you know, if, if someone doesn't care about that, then it doesn't matter. But if you have a clientele that really cares about doing something a little different um, and supporting the environment and um, uh, getting some really amazing little gifts, then that's what we're all about. You would even have a good, if you're a gift boutique watching and you have a nice gift boutique and you have a small pet section, to so, have that in the store would really fit well. Yeah, we've gone to gift, I mean, right before the virus, we were going to gift shows, the Atlanta gift show, for example, a Dallas gift show. And we had lots of companies, gifting companies interested in our products. They were not pet companies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I could definitely see your products in a gift, in a gift type boutique. Mm -hmm. um, so a couple of people are congratulating you on uh, all of the great things that you have oh, done and that, you know, that it's been resp done responsible and love the packaging. Um, so the other thing is during the pandemic, have you learned anything as far as being a business? I know Ta Tavor was actually stuck outside of the country for a little bit. Yeah. You made it back safely. So, <laughs> so I, I, I could glance at the questions here while I talk, but I'll have you, uh, mon uh monitor them because I, unless you want me it's, to jump yeah, in. Yeah, no, go for it. Um, but, but, and, and to answer your specific question, yeah, our, our happiness uh, bakery is in Bhutan, which as you may know, is a tiny country up in the Himalayas. Um, we chose Bhutan because we get a, a lot, not not all, but a lot of our pristine ingredients from up in the Himalayas. And, and it's part of our social enterprise to support um, the indigenous farmers and herders. Uh, <clears throat> in terms of, um, I was actually stuck there um, earlier in the year when the whole COVID crisis uh, blew up, um, uh, pandemic uh, got worse. And um, I would have stayed. I was, I was, I was fat, dumb, and ha um, happy there. I was on the top of the world. I would, I had a whole hotel for myself because there weren't any tourists. Yeah. Um, they treated me really well. Um, but my wife and my doggy were here, so I had to brave the uh, the airplanes, and <laughs> it took me a, quite some time to get home. Um, how am I targeting your high end product buyers? Um, that's a very good question, and. Um, um, if you have a V answer for it, I will, I'm, I'm all ears. <laughs> um, but, um, we, we actually had 35 events canceled this year. Um, 
uh, that um, because of the virus, and I'm not complaining because you know a quarter of a million people died, and I have my health, so hey. But um, um, a lot of those events were um, Colorado is great for events during the summer and fall, and even the winter. Um, but um, you know, a lot of those events were in you know pretty, uh, I would say, high end areas. Um, there were music festivals, there were art festivals, and that was. Um, a very uh, significant setback for us, to be perfectly honest. And we were planning to target um, our people that uh, um, the right sort of our target that way. This year, we have been invited to a few holiday markets in Denver, um, and um, uh, one of them in particular is 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 at a very sort of high end area, um, and we're we're very hopeful that we'll be able to reach those consumers that way. Yeah. But a lot of it just has to do with clientele. If you, if you're a pet spa or a small pet store, and you already have that clientele, then, um, then, uh, then that's that, that would be really perfect for our products. Right. But anybody can go and onto your website and purchase them as well. Like mm -hmm. you said before, you have the um, MS, MSRP. Is my business structured differently as a social enterprise? Um, it's an LLC, and I own it with my wife. Um, um, and, and so if that's di that probably is different from at least the big pet company. So I make all the decisions. Um, um, in, I, I designed the packaging we just talked about a minute ago. It helps I had an engineering background, but, but the, um, I make sure that all of our suppliers meet our echo and, um, and sustainable and socially responsible practices, you know, having to do with child labor, having to do with um, echo, um, as I said, you know, uh, uh, effluent stream uh, uh, management. So we're not polluting every, everywhere where we're making product. Um, and, and so I'm personally enforcing it because I'm making all the decisions. Um, is, you know, so I guess that's structured differently only because it's, it's, it's so small. Right. And you get to make those decisions because you, you own the business. And that's also your heart brand. It's part yeah. of what it is. No, no, he's a regular No, no, we're not. It's just, I, I'm just responding to the person. Yeah. We are not a, a not-for-profit. We are, we are a for, a that's why I said we're, we are a business as much as an enterprise, uh, as much as a social enterprise. We're not a non-for-profit and we're not totally, I mean, although I eventually would like to make a profit, we are not just about profit. So that's why I say we're really a combination, but the structure is a LLC, which would be for a, a for-profit company. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So people can find your products on choosehappiness.com. We're going to put the LL, the URL, not the LLC, the URL into the, the comment section. You can email just info at choosehappiness.com uh, for any uh, uh, retail inquiries. Yeah, awesome. we're definitely going to put all of that information in the comment section. So if you guys want to reach out to Tavor and find out more about Choose Happiness, more about the products, how you can get the products into your store, um, or if you just want to purchase some holiday gifts for some very well-deserving dogs in your life. Now, you guys yes. are just dogs right now, correct? Do you ever you know, have I have, we, we are just dogs, and I, I actually am not prejudiced against cats. I had a very lonely childhood, and my only friend was, was, smoke, was Smokey. Um, and uh, even thinking about him gets me all emotional, But but he he because he was my friend. But um, cats are amazing creatures, but... Um, we tried to develop a cat version of our Baccaron. And it turned out that after spending a small fortune um, um, not, uh, on, on, the cat, on trying to develop cats, what we found was um, cats, as we all know, are finicky. more finicky than your, than your even most finicky dog. Yep. And what we found was it, 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 texture is very important to them, not just smell, but texture. I mean, our, our Baccarons are crunchy. So a dog will t if a dog isn't used to um, something crunchy. Sometimes they drop it. Like what? What did you just give me? And then they smell it and they say, "Oh, that smells pretty good." And then they'll try it. Um, but um, uh, for cats, they won't even touch it um, if it just doesn't have just the right amount of uh, saltiness, just the right amount of of protein, just yeah. the right amount of of, of softness. And um, just as we we did develop a product that. A lot of cats liked, but it were not enough cats liked. <laughs> and we could not compete against the junk food that's out there, to be honest. The yeah. friskies and the, um, the other food that's uh, out there, the temptations, we just couldn't compete. So unfortunately, just dogs right now.
All right. Well, that's not unfortunate. I mean, there's a lot of dog owners and sometimes you just have to stick with what you're doing very well already. And so I know we talked about the choose in the beginning. When do you think, I know it's a loaded question, but when do you think those will be on the market? Well, um, the chews, um, uh, you know, <laughs> every time I think about it, I say, oh yeah, it's going to be uh, six months from now. And it's, that's in, now it's been seven years. But, um, you know, with the virus, it was, everything was delayed. Right now, we are planning on having the choose available first quarter 2021. Um, the big lim rate limiting step now is not the chew anymore. I showed you a few samples. We know how to make it. Um, it's, it's the packaging. And it's just that um, if, because we're making, again, a completely eco-friendly package with no plastic, it actually is very complicated technically because yeah. we also have to make sure that we have a, a, a sealed container uh, for safety. Um, and so um, right now we're spending a lot of time on, on finalizing the development of the package but the package, when we have it developed, I am in the process, I will be applying for a fully biodegradable cert on, certificate on it. Um, it's going to be, again, wow. paper-based. Um, companies don't do this because it takes a lot of effort and it takes um, it's a lot more expensive. So they don't bother. They just throw it in a plastic bag. So I, I firmly believe that we as consumers um, and retailers to consumers, but um, obviously the consumer m makes uh, votes with their wallet. If they're willing to um, support companies that are putting that extra effort in, but realizing that, you know, it's going to cost a little more because the packaging isn't pennies. It's, it's a lot more expensive. So um, that said, I, I believe we as consumers can change the world a little bit at a time. And that's what I'm trying to um, help uh, facilitate. At, with well, I really applaud everything that you've done and are doing to keep that eco friendly. It's really important to me. Um, and anything that I give to my dog and all of those things. So I really applaud that because it's not easy to keep those steps. Like you said, you could just go down a different path and yeah. you've chosen not to. So um, I will look forward to finding out when those shoes come out when you're, when they're better. But everybody that's looking for those wonderful baka runes, I'm probably saying it wrong. You know, um, <laughs> we have a whole little video. What's the difference between a maca rune, a maca ron, and a baka ron? Um, so, um, Anyway, but it's bakar, it's baccaron having to do with um, French macaron, but say it as you want, as you please. Right, right. Awesome. Well, I'll have to send you, Taver, the picture of Cody. I think his eyes are popped out taking one of those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his classic look, you try in one of them. He loved it. I had to tell him to chew it because he likes to swallow well, things you know, whole. That, that, <laughs> As I said, camel cheese is to dogs as chocolate is to people there. It has a, um, you can't really, a humans, you can't really smell it unless you put your nose right near it. But yeah. dogs could smell it from across the room, basically. Um, so for them, it's it's like heaven. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here, guys. You want to go thank to you, everybody, and Thank you so much, everybody, for the nice comments and the feedback that uh, keeps me going. Uh, really very much appreciated. Thank you. Awesome. Well, go to choosehappiness.com to find out more information. I, like I said, we're going to pull the Tavers information in the comment section. And thank you for being here. And I know you guys are having snow and we're having summer weather in here in New York. It's kind of crazy. So stay safe out there. And I look forward to seeing you in person. Thank hopefully you. by 2021. We hope so. Thank you, Nancy. Thanks All right. Take bye care, Tavar. Bye. Bye.